Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a photomon lampshade for 3D printing frame 2020. You log into littopanimakers.com. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on more details on how to make it and completely finish it at home with your 3D printer. Once you log into Littopanimakers, you scroll down. Top on a lamp maker, a little on a light box maker, night little on a maker. Remember, we want to make a moonlight, a photo moonlight, light, a moonlight with a photo. So you go to little on a globe, globe maker. Write this one. This is the one that we're going to use to make our moonlight. Once you click, it will show you a shape of this one and all the details. Those details are the sizes that you have to adjust depending on how big you want it and all the sizes how you want it. Okay. Let's see. You'll see the sense upload your image. Then you click and you select an image that you want to use on the moonlight. Then you also tick on the moon background so that the, your moonlight will have a background of the moon it doesn't have to be flat and then at the crop image is where you click it so that you can adjust your image then at the resolution my all my resolutions i use open file so that you can have good quality you can change and try use different resolutions there any resolution that you want to use you can use it there is the moonlight uh, is the sphere diame diameter the diameter of the moonlight how big you want to, you want it to be so in this one i'm going to use 117 millimeter the outer diameter thickness i'm gonna use 2.9 maximum thickness of the moonlight is 2.9 Then the picture angular height and angular width, I leave them like that. They depend on the picture. You can adjust it them, but when you adjust them, you must also check at the picture what, what is doing in the picture on the light on the right hand side so that it doesn't uh, crop and then the image like just print some other background that you don't want to print. So at the minimum thickness resolutions, all my, my little panel lamps, I use 0.9 millimeter. And that is the cylinder outer diameter. I use 38 millimeter. I use that because the at the bottom the lights that I put inside my shade uh, they are 37 millimeter, so they should fit inside. So I use a, a allowance of three millimeter of one millimeter, so that you can fit inside. So the cylinder height and cylinder width, I use 3 mm for both. For cylinder ledge outer diameter, I use 40 mm. So it will give an, a thickness of uh, 2 mm from that 38 mm. The circle appearing on the screen now is the one that you have designed with those figures that you are putting in there. You can see it has a little opening depending on how I want it to open so that I can put my lights in and fit nicely. So after that you can check if that's how you want it, like it will show there on the right there, right hand side there. So everything is done and ready to go now. You can just put an email address and create a STL file, then it will download. So it's downloading it's take, it doesn't even take time once it's download then you'll go where it where you say where you save your things on your computer then you take it to the lesson software that you use or cura please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel so that on the next video i will also show you how to set your cura settings to bring that perfect moonlight there that is the perfect moonlight that is the moonlight that i made at home with my 3d printer using this software the Topan and Cura and then I printed it 
I also printed the stand and then I put all the lights inside. So please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that next time when I show you how to do all those things you don't.